sound of your voice makes me weak. All you gotta do is just speak. One word is enough, and I'm no longer so rough. I forget what I was trying to say. I no longer do what I was gonna do, but you're no good for me. That's why men who will send me a fickle flea. May I be careful with me, sir? May I be careful with me, sir? May I be eyeing like a thief in the night? May I be get all the sight? And a strange news right now. Right now, they have an investigation. Mm-hmm. Internal auditors called in and all that for uh, the the Montego Bay region that one vial as is missing. I heard Can't somebody. I heard they say. You mean when there's a one vial, one bottle or? Yeah, one bottle. Can one bottle all eight doses? Okay, okay, okay. Ten doses. Yeah. That's true. I heard somebody was saying like seven, and I was like, whoa, that's a lot. No, man. No, well, the news says one. I don't know. I mean, the news probably, you know, the news says one. Mm-hmm. And they, they, they are auditing everything now to find out if it, if it has been mislaid, mm-hmm. if, it, if it was broken, or if it was stolen. Uh, let's hope it not none of that no happen. That's so but none of that not happen. <laughs> I think it's kind of difficult to steal because you know it it, it needs special cooling treatment. Mm-hmm. And if a man steal that, that's something you can put a cooling thing in their pocket. Yes. You know? mm-hmm. And I've cooked it, and they said the place is full of CT, CT cameras, and they have open security and all kind of things. So I don't know. But we soon find out. <laughs> uh, I heard it last night. Um, and a, a blog. I went on a blog, and this young lady was talking about it, and she yeah. was so upset because she said, "Imagine, you know, we never hear anything happening in other countries, but why Jamaica?" Exactly. Yeah, uh-huh. but yeah, but we are, we are like that. We are like that. And she said, "As a, a lower we gone." Mm. Yeah, I think, I think, I think there's also. There's also, I think they said some probably all have been broken. Okay. Because uh, they are glass, you know. Mm-hmm. So they, they break, you know. So they must do some special uh, recording. Mm-hmm. So everything can be above board, you know. Okay, okay. I hear but, you, boss. I hear you. <clears throat> And they and they are you see Jamaica Jamaica never first he was placing them. Mm-hmm. They are saying that they are they are they are facilitating booking we call it now bookings for of of regular people starting 
probably end of the month or so. Mm. And they're basically doing that online. Okay, okay. <laughs> but then again, they use phone and different things. To, but we don't come to understand that the internet is the most important thing now. And, and we don't hear nobody else nothing about that. <laughs> well, everything they bring, you know. Well, guess everything what? They bring. I keep telling you. Know, you. you know, when they brought in the stimulus thing, although it was much, but mm. it was a, you have to register online too. I keep telling you that, that you, you guys have to, have to follow online. up with them. You guys have to follow up with them and pressure them, you know, and let them know. But anyway. No, we don't. Anyway, let's go into what did you know. Okay, we have a tight shift this morning and we want to utilize yes. every minute of it. So we're going to go into did you know and then we're going to come back and see if we can do a little bit of chit chat before we get to the chef this morning. Yes. Chef Sinclair and the family and tapioca. Walking on sand and holding your hand, feel like a tourist in my own homeland. In my own homeland, enjoying the bright, mm, the warm sunlight. Oh my God, what a beautiful sight! In my own homeland. This place is so nice, wanna do everything twice. Yes, I feel as if I'm in the paradise. No matter. Saint you're just joining us. Welcome to the Real Stuff Podcast. You're just in time for Did You Know with Flavius. Flavius, take yeah, it good away. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you know today we are going to continue on the silver screen? And we're going to speak about a very special, extraordinary lady, Miss Grace Jones. Continuing with Caribbean Eye Achieving Women, today we will stay with the silver screen. We will speak about Grace Jones. Grace Beverly Jones O.D., born 19 of May 1948, is a Jamaican model, singer, songwriter, record producer, and actress. In 1999, Jones ranked 82nd on the VH1's 100 Greatest Women of Rock and Roll. And in 2008, she was honored with a Q Idol Award. Jones influenced the cross-dressing movement of the 1980s and has been an inspiration for artists including Annie Lennox, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Solis, Lauren, Rosin Murray, Brazilian Girls, Nile Rogers, Santee Gold, and Basement Jacks. In 2016, Billboard magazine ranked her as the 40th greatest dance club artist of all time. Born in Jamaica, she and her family moved to Syracuse, New York when she was 13. Jones began her modeling career in New York State, then in Paris, working for fashion houses such as Yves Saint Laurent and Kenzo, and appearing on the covers of Ellie and Vogue. She worked with photographers such as Jean-Paul Gaulle, Helmut Newton, Guy Baudin, and Hans Führer, and became known for her distinctive angiogenous appearance and bold features. Beginning in 1977, Jones embarked on a music career, securing a record deal with Island Records and initially becoming a star of New York City's 
Studio 54 centered disco scene. In the early 80s, she moved towards a new wave style that drew on reggae, funk, post-punk, and pop music. Frequently collaborating with both the graphic designer Jean-Paul Gore and the musical duo Sly and Robbie. Her most popular albums include Warm Leatherette 1980, Night Clubbing 1981, and Slave to the Rhythm 1985. She scored top 40 entries on the UK singles chart with Pull Up to the Bumper and I Have Seen That Face Before and Private Life and Slave to the Rhythm in 1982. She released the music video collection, a one-man show directed by Gore. Jones appeared in some low-budget films in the U.S. during the 1970s and early 1980s. In 1994, she made her first mainstream appearance as Zula in the fantasy action film Conan the Destroyer alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sarah Douglas and subsequently appeared in the 1985 James Bond movie A View to Kill as May Day. In 1986 she played a vampire in Vamp and acted in and contributed a song to the 1992 Eddie Murphy film Boomerang. She appeared alongside Tim Curry in the 2001 film Wolf Girl. For her work in Conan the Destroyer, A View to Kill and Vamp, she was nominated for Saturn Awards for Best Supporting Actress. And that is our Did You Know for today. Walking on sand And holding your hand Feel like a tourist in my own homeland In my own homeland Enjoying the bright mm, The warm sunlight Oh my God, what a beautiful sight In my own homeland did you know is brought to you courtesy of slowly jamaica uniquely caribbean so in case you didn't know now you know paradise. no matter the season you've got every reason this place is another little heaven east or west i couldn't care less this place it is definitely best my own homeland hi this is pam hall and i'm no inviting you to hang out with flavius and franco on to the real stuff about. podcast there's such you great can company. jump dance or sing and shout in my own homeland Give yourself a treat, a few days or a week And you will see just what I mean Just take my advice and This is your very own sports, music and lifestyle podcast With Flavius and Franco Welcome I am grateful to be, have been loved And to be loved now And to be able to love Because that liberates Love liberates it doesn't just hold. That's ego. Love, love liberates. This poem is called Undefeatable. 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 Und
will not be stopped. I refuse to be conquered. My soul is too strong as it was built on the backs of my ancestors. Defeat is not included within the design of my being. There are no obstacles in life. Instead, there are experiences that provoke reactions and lead a pathway to newfound knowledge. I stand firm with a blueprinted coded knowing of self, a divine creation. I will not be stopped. I refuse to be conquered. I live in this life or the next, and I am undefeatable. This is your very own sports, music, and lifestyle podcast with Flavius and Franco. Welcome. Yes, yes, indeed. Max one it. That's a wicked one, them call undefeated. Getting ready to link up with Chef Sinclair in Tapioca Retreat. Okay, so Flavius, what you have for yes, us sir. now? Let's let, um, continue what you were saying now about uh, 
the vaccine and the, the whole system with the internet before we get the chef. Well, what I'm off, saying off, is off. That everything the everything the government does mm-hmm. is online. Okay. Unless and 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 still a large, I mean, internet deployment in Jamaica is very small to say the least. Mm-hmm. Very small when you look at the entire country. We have deployment in 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 Kingston and Saint Andrew, Montego Bay, probably Ocho Rios, but the rest of the country. It's not, it's, it, we hardly have, and when we have, it's very, very, very poor. Mm-hmm. Yet still, we are putting out everything online. The government, if to, to, to do anything, in fact, I'm hearing that the tax office only wants a certain amount of people in there. And they're moving everything to, to, to the internet. Everything, mm-hmm. everything fine. But we don't have the facilities. The systems are set up, but for the population to to access it, it's a different matter. Because we don't have we don't have the service. We don't have the broadband all over the place which we need. Mm-hmm. Another news that came out yesterday was I think the police is wanting to be able to access the the needs database and the law I think is now safe for them to do that they have to get a court order but they think that is too time consuming and what's but that what's the, mean, what's the needs about needs 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 this is the identification system that they want to put in. Mm. So everybody from your bar, you get one identi- identification so, number. So the police want to use it that when they pull over somebody, they can easily well identify them by what? Swiping the, the driver's license or? No, if, 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 if somebody suspected of a crime, it, the didn't will carry like a fingerprint and probably DNA and all these things, you know. Mm. So they want access to all of that. And the people are saying no. I mean, the law is saying no. That, you know, we don't want the, the thing to be out there in the public domain like that. Mm-hmm. Agreeable. They, they, the, the commissioner of police would have to apply to the court mm-hmm. and get a court order. Oh, okay. So at least, at least you have some different levels different levels of, uh, you know, assurance so, that you did. So what you think, what do you think, what you think about it? I don't think they should have so much of those things on the knees in the first place. Okay. But definitely, definitely can be, it can be out there in the open that any policeman can just go on a computer and get information about any, anybody they want. Mm-hmm. No, that can't, that can't be right. They have to bring a case to the judge and the judge will look at it properly and say, okay, you can obtain this or you can obtain that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're talking about, you know, we have to guard ourselves against even criminals in the police. Yes, yes, yes. That is a critical thing. And I mean, that's the bottom line. Mm-hmm. For unscrupulous people to use the information to their own own end. So I think I think I think that is a very big thing that the government wants to do. I don't know, I don't know based on all the pitfalls that can happen. I'm not sure it's even worth it. Okay. You know what? Let me play another song and then see if I can get Chef on the phone and find out what's going on. Yeah. All right? Because um Yeah. Need to get the chef early this morning. All right then. Time is running Victory. Away. Victory. Victory. I felt the cold wind blow from far away. 
and the sound of a tumbine butter. Aziko, Tembe, and all the African drum says victory. Yes. Victory in our hands, alas. <laughs> the voice of our ancestors are the voice of the people. We crawl from the grave of slavery. Our hands are loose from being tired. And our mouths are free from sin. Now we can shout victory. Victory in our hands, alas. The red, gold, green, the black star in the middle. Joined all the African flags. Victory. Victory. Waving for our ancestors. For they have brought joy and freedom for its people. Yay. The sound of the dawn drum. Tears, anger, emotions and joy filled our lands from that day. That day, I heard the voices of my ancestors calling victory. Victory. Kwame Nkrumah, victory. Nelson Mandela, victory. Jomo Kenyatta, victory. Thomas Sakara, victory. Julius Nerera, victory. Haile Selassie, victory. Afa Omar, victory. General Mutala, victory. Akahina, victory. Nzinaha, victory. Forgive me, I can't mention all the names of my ancestors. Who toil with your flesh and blood for our victory? Don't let our ancestors' victory be in vain, leaders. Don't let our ancestors' victory be in vain, fellow citizens. Let our victory change minds to change Africa, not to corrupt Africa. Victory is for Africa, not you, Mr. Leader. Victory is for our hands in the air. Victory, 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 Ghana and Kunimdie, victory, Euro Bagum, victory, Somali Gu, victory, Swahili Washindi, victory, Africa, victory, Africa, victory to my ancestors, victory to my ancestors, victory for black power, victory. 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 Victory! Hi, this is Pam Hall, and I'm inviting you to hang out with Flavius and Franco on The Real Stuff Podcast. They're such great company. Bagwire, getting ready to link up with Chef Sinclair. Are you ready? Are you ready to go? He got Bagwire in so wonderful. Mr. Bagwire in so wonderful. He got Bagwire so wonderful. I met a boy the other day. Got the sweetest love and ever come my way.
Sabah Aguaya. Chef, 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 Chef Sinclair. Good morning, Santo. Touchdown, touchdown. How you doing? How you doing down there this morning? We are good. We have like a rain this morning. Uh-huh. St. Mary is synonymous to rain. Yes, it's a rainy morning in St. Mary. <laughs> I can see the pot. Look at the pot. Bubble, we are bubble this morning, Chef. Well, this morning, we always say food is our medicine. Mm-hmm. And, and the pandemic has had some unusual behavior. And... Um, in some cases, some persons can't eat anything solid. Uh-huh. So, today's mission is to show you the, the, how we do consuming, uh-huh. which is a simple soup. You get all the nutrients, but none of this solid. Okay, okay. You can put them up with a straw. So, remember last time we spoke about stock? Uh-huh. They use the bones to make stock. Yes. It is stock that was pre-done. Uh-huh. We have we have, we have egg white uh-huh. and we have chicken uh-huh. and vegetables and spices and cut up um small. Yeah. The pot over here. And we're gonna start rolling now. Pot so pretty this have, morning, man. We had this stock to the pot. Okay. We're gonna add the egg white mm-hmm. to the, 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 the meat, the, the chicken and the vegetable. You're going to notice what I'm doing now. Mm-hmm. We're, going to be, we're going to be having a process named clarifying. Mm-hmm. That process it does is um, all the particles go in one area and you get a chance to skim up just the liquid alone. Mm-hmm. So we gotta have the, the 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 chicken, vegetable spices, and the egg white, and it's going into the stock. Remember this the, the stock was seasoned and and, and pre cooked. Yes, yes. Wow, beautiful, beautiful chef, beautiful. This is, this is both food and medicine. One thing. Food and medicine. <laughs> and you say all of that, all of that was done by what you call it, um, leftovers. No, it can't be done with leftovers, but in this case, no, it was fresh chicken. Okay, okay. <laughs> I did that this morning and and, and, I, and I'll be cool. Uh-huh. The, the, the stock has to be cold. But if you had the egg white so hot liquid, it's going to coagulate at the same time and turn poach egg. You don't want that. So we're going to bring it from cold, bring it to the boil. When it come to the boil, we cut the flame and have it um, continue your cooking. Uh-huh. Over low heat, uh-huh. about half an hour, and it, in this process, in this process, all the flavors are pulled into the liquid. Uh-huh. So I'm waiting on it now to come to the boil, and then I'm going to cut the the flame. Oh, and you have to keep on um, stirring it like that, right? Yes, so, a little until you're going to notice the the rough as they call it uh-huh. start. Start coming on the top. Yeah, that's where that's where the particles going run in uh-huh, uh-huh. and to the rock. Like I said, although this is food, this is exotic soup, uh-huh. an appetizer. Uh-huh. Yet it is it is medicine because you will have natural soup, no bullion, no additive, natural, but. No particles. No, sp- no cases, spinach in no. it either. Eh? <laughs> no spinach. <laughs> no spinach. 
Wonderful, wonderful, Chef. Wonderful. That is marvelous, Chef. So, but it it left up to 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 anyone, chef, right? If they want to to drop a cup of spinach in it. Well, in the in 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 the, in the preparation, you can do that. But mm. the, the end result is going to be a soup that you can look right through, like water, <laughs> <laughs> with all the flavor. But it now got thin. It got it got rich. Same way. It reached the same way. Okay. That's the point. No, man. The taste, is, the taste will be excellent, man. The taste will be excellent. Yes. Mm-hmm. As, as my father would say, everything boil out in it, you know. Everything boil out. Yeah. yeah. That's why my, my mother don't eat meat from soup, you know. She said everything boiled out. Everything gone. Everything boiled and it's super ready. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, the next. What I've done in preparation is to do a small one here, and that has now been clarified while this is being done. So I can move almost. I'm going to need a wet. Kitchen towel mm-hmm. to do the the, the straining. So I just wet it. It must be too wet, and yet it must be too dry. Okay. Have that done. I'm going to put it in the, the calendar here. Then from right here, so then from here, you can see better. Back over another one, and then we're going to start. Strainer within a strainer. Yes. Yeah. So, this one was. Done. Pull the camera off and you can see what I mean. Right now. So, you can see the liquid? Yes, yes. Yes, I'm going to start kick off the liquid here. Come you like when you're straining off coconut oil and you're, you're, you're leaving, leaving the custard, you know? Yeah. 
How you come? How you come? Yeah. How you come? But this is medicine, really. Medicine. Medicine. Some of the who you want to give all the new chains, but they can't have it because of probably their condition. Okay. That is that means. So right basically, here. anyone who's sick. You know, can party. Yeah, well, that's, what, that's what I'm giving hospital, you know. Mm. Mm. Well, in hospital, they give you a brats. Yeah. Which is, which is not really the same thing. Brats still have some. Right. Yeah, brats is a simpler version. Yeah, a lesser version. Not anything that you know what you think within the pot? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like water? Yeah. So all of all the stuff taste just gone, water. eh? All this, yeah, man. Taste the water, man. The flavor is garlic. Right? I remember now, you have you have this is chicken consomme, you have beef consomme too. Mm. Remember I tell you, the beef consume is the one that um, they used to make French onion soup. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. These are French stuff. French and Spanish. Consume. Consume. It, although it is spelled C-O-M, it is pronounced C-O-M. Mm, okay. Wow, and that's how it. Uh, that's all. That's a, that's a finishing touch. Hey, that's a finish too. <laughs> that's a finish too. You see, these are the things that when I see things like this, no. It made me want to travel and go taste it. Yeah, I'm going to just come here. Water beside it. Before you drink it. Yeah, yeah. This is water. This is the comparison. Yeah. That's water? Mm-hmm. That's your concern? Right to box foot. Yeah. Wow. This one over here is working its way. And, and that and that is just a, a small bowl, right? That right, right. You find these things in, in things in the in your in your in your in your in your supermarket thing. Yeah. You find the beef consume and that you find the chicken consume. In cans. In cans, yes. But that I mean I would so I suppose I have a whole heap of soda in it for preserve it. But this you oh, you not put no salt in it. Um, no, the 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 the, the meat from the the stock skid was already seasoned. Okay, okay. Mm. And and, and what's the time the, the time process on this? Huh? Time process is about um forty five minutes. Forty five minutes, yeah. Basically, yeah, like if you're a cook. Mm. So this is you know this is clarifying. But this was carried by the way. Remember, this first year is known as the wrap. I mean, mm-hmm. the, the particles are running into it. Yeah, it's just two. You're good, chef. You're good, chef. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Mm. And I'm, um, and I'm, and I'm. A, a regular, how often would you prepare this for your guests? Sir? Well, this would be outside of with you no know, sick and you need to be bending. Mm-hmm. This would be part of a, a, a real gourmet dinner. Okay, okay. Yeah, your, your appetizer, then you go to your soup, mm-hmm. and um, your, your salad and your entree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But these are specialty soup. Speciality. It's really a speciality soup for true because I keep asking. So I'm to the spinach. 
Mm. You know, put no spinners <laughs> in it. <laughs> but looking at the end result, that <laughs> it can be garnished, you know. Yeah, look in, at the end it, result. It, it, you can have, you can have um, fried fruit and garnish to this, mm-hmm. right? And you can also add um, some colorful um, molded garnish in it, and and also vegetables. But for in this case, this is an idea for some of the people now suffering with COVID and other um, related um, sickness who have had a difficulty eating. Okay, okay. But if you, could, you could put the same on the but I put, I'll, I'll give them straw to have it. And they would have all the things that is we started out with. The benefits of the, the, um, the nutrition. So this is why we're not now we're not doing all of that with this one today. This is not the five star day, although it's a five star soup. <laughs> it's everything, every day is a five star for you, chef. <laughs> every day, every time you come on this program, it's a five star. Yes, yes, yeah, it yes. has to be a five star because <clears throat> this one, you know, that looked like it's ready for, for, for serve to the royal family or a, a, delegate, a delegation. Look good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I mean, I need to taste it. Make it see now. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yes. She's in consuming. Chef Sinclair, man. Chef Sinclair. You did it again. You did it again. For the five star dinner, you could have a dash of white wine to this. Uh huh. Give it a, a kick. Okay. But today's. Is really to give. We have so much people going through trauma yeah. and confusion of how to feed their loved ones mm-hmm. who are affected in our sort of way. But this is an idea. And some, some who, who came out of the hospital and recovered, them can't even eat good I, either because I know, I know of one such person, you know, can't hold down him food. So you can't tell them about this? Yeah, yeah. Good, it's good, chef. Glad this is going to be on the website, Flavius. Yes, definitely. Yeah, man, because this, oh, yeah. this is something we can put up on the website other than YouTube, so viewers and you know can go to the website and see it as well. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, chef. You did it again. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, man. You have a good day and tell Mama Sinclair hi for me. Hi, How you doing, man? Oh, she did. I know she did with you. She have to be there with you. All right, Mama <laughs> Sinclair. You enjoy the day, both of you, okay? And stay safe. And Junior is the, cam- is, is the cameraman. Oh, Junior, hold the camera today. Big up, big up, DJ Speng. Big up, Mr. Speng. <laughs> All right. One love, sir. All right, yeah. Walking on sand And holding your hand Feel like a tourist in my own homeland In my own homeland Enjoying the bright mm, The warm sunlight Oh my God, what a beautiful sight In my own homeland this place is so nice, wanna do everything twice Yes, I feel as if I'm in the paradise No matter the season, you've got every reason This place is another little heaven East or west, I couldn't care less this place, it is definitely best My own homeland North or south Feel free to wander about 
You can jump, dance, or sing and shout. Each and every Thursday at this time, coming out of London, England, none other than the man himself, Donovan Wright, aka Dan. Top of the morning, uh, top of the afternoon, Dan. I forgot to see you on a different time. The evening, so. e- not the evening, no. Easy, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're way off, I'm way off. Yeah. Yeah. So what's happening? You all right? How the family? Yeah, man, family good and yeah, everything, everything good. Younger problem, I know. Wow, the kids, them, them all look out for me, you know. Well, Two them don't want to go to school. <laughs> they get comfortable at home. <laughs> so we had them up here, you wow, know. Uh, yeah. Well, I saw it go, you know, because we, we know, oh, you know, it's that, 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 that's more than vacation, that, that bigger than them yeah, summer man. vacation. Them get yeah. oh, oh, two or three school, summers uh. in one, one year. Yeah. <laughs> So what's up? Hey, first I want us to touch on the Jamaica football. If you know much about it, there's a there's a um, a, a release a release um of the names of players who going on a I think is a warm up match to play. Yeah, a friend against the US. Yes, and it have uh, ten ten overseas based players and nine. Jamaican um, players who basically shame. are Jamaican, born, bloody Jamaican. Man. That's yes, a shame, yeah. really shame. That made me get angry, and the reason why I get angry, I said, no, if I was the minister of sports and whatever development, that would when I would have come in. My money going to, to, to the Football Federation of Jamaica would be an all until we can find out why is it we have a Premier League that's supposed to take the best of the best from the Premier League every year and put together for a national team and we have to look overseas for other players. No, yeah, but, 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 but Franco, you're yeah, yeah, looking yeah, look at two things, you know. Maybe me see it wrong and maybe if somebody can put in for them for me. If you look on two things you now, the, the, the federation I forget it is priority right first. Mm-hmm. And the priority is are we looking at quick fix? Yes, if you're looking at quick fix, that it can work that way. Mm-hmm. Are we looking to develop not even for the national program in you know, a car to reach your national program you have to start from grassroots. So is the foundation of the of, of the not not even of the Jamaican football within the country. We're not putting the premiership because for those kids who reach premiership, they have to be a foundation. Is the primary foundation mm. five to eleven is there that foundation. We are built on that foundation now. Five to eleven, that's where we struck to start from. So we have built a solid foundation of five to eleven kids all over the island. Let's focus on that age group now. The World Cup is every four years. Uh-huh. We focus on that age group. We are develop that age group, monitoring them from each parish. The secondary school or the high school, you now them change over. That's our next focus. Uh-huh. We're gonna focus on that for, say for the next five, four years. That set of players will be twenty some be twenty twenty uh-huh. Then we we'll look at the premiership. How are the premiership channel channel? in these kids to come to their club. Train with them. They don't must have to play now. Mm-hmm. You give you still at the development stage. So kids leave school. Them, it not even must be a premiership club. It should be a, a feeder club within each parish. Uh, there's some development center. It do have to be a lot of development center. It can be one development center. We have some designated coaches who are specific in age development because not every coach is going to coach at the top. Some coaches comfortable at primary level, secondary level. I don't want to go no further. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Those are the things you have to start implementing because you don't just develop a, develop a, a, a primary kid, just develop just come play football, you know. That's not football. That's not development. Mm-hmm. So you have to have a specific plan program. January to February, this is what we're going to do. February to March, this is what we're going to do. And then you have to put in terms, all right, the kids them get holiday. 
what you do during the holiday. You make them come, come do some festival skill development. I you know what? Uh, you'll give them a look at one-week break. Mm. So until you have a, a plan, set plan program for the age, and you don't just do it in one parish, that should be something into a curriculum way that is set at every level within primary school, secondary school, high school, with the club now, it's much different. But if you can negotiate with the club, the master, listen, now we have to have a philosophy. Mm-hmm. What kind of philosophy that we are going to adapt? If the country play 4 3 free, majority of the club should be playing 4 3 free. And the reason why I'm saying that is if a player comes to the national program, he don't find it difficult to fit straight in. But if one club playing that, one club playing that, one club playing that, one club playing that, him come, you are, him, him will start just again. Mm-hmm. So until them put together a plan, I don't know how them will do it. Kasaf and JFF, which I feel said this, those are the two main bodies in the country, those two should be pulling apart. Them should be pulling together. I don't even know if Let's Kasaf is still there. Philavius, is Kasaf still there? Oh, strong as ever. And Kasafa, though. But before we, leave, before we leave out the game, the practice game, the news is saying that a majority of all of the English based players have declined the offer. So but flavor. But flavor. No, oh, but flavor. We have a flavors, we're going to talk football. What we cannot understand is if you're, all right, it's a quick fix them looking. They're looking for qualification. So I, mm. I can't hold up me answer that and say, well, you're looking for a quick fix. If it's that, want, if that the country want, but mm. the country has to prepare to know that been if there are qualifying rounds. No, but, no, but Somebody have to somebody have to take a stand then if they want the development of the football. And, and I because keep telling it, you, it, 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 this, the sole responsibility to me it, it, lie with the, the minister of sports, that, whosoever is that, minister of that, sports. That, yeah. Well, yeah. Man, hold on. I, they can't be looking at quick fix because that means they're looking at quick fix from, 19, from 1988. Yeah. Yeah, but is that happening because yes. why are you calling up done, players? Which... No, no. They have done nothing. Let me tell you. The problem is that they have done nothing at all to improve the football in Jamaica. One of the reasons the JFF themselves has done nothing at all to make their organization strong. Them sit down and then we're in and waiting for FIFA and CONCACAF to send money to them. They are doing nothing, they are doing nothing to develop, to build the organization then. Like how FIFA they build up to a powerful organization, JFF can yeah. build up to be a, a powerful organization. They're not doing that. And if you don't do that, yeah, but- you sit down and, and know them saying, oh, they do have the money because the money no, but, get money from, no, but what, from, no, but what I'm the, saying is it's not the, about the, but, but, you know what about you going out yeah but, but I if think, Johnny I think can, will, I, they want so, to get rid of everybody no they want to get rid of because they don't have any they don't have any any plan, they don't have any thought about how to move the organization forward. In fact, they're not looking at they're not looking to do that. Whatever money them get, them use that or they how they, how they want to. And that is fine with them. They're not looking to make the JFF itself strong. And to be strong, you have to be strong financially. If FIFA don't give you the money and the government don't give you the money. You, you must can do your work same way. And I think I think I, I, I think what them need to do for a start, they need to make all positions in JFF payable. A salary thing. 
right now, I don't think it's a salary thing, so there's no accountability. You need to do that. You need to put people in there who go out and look, and look sponsors, corporate projects to, to make money, come up with their own training sessions. If but Flavius, but Flavius, Flavius, stick up in there. I mean, I got dip down pan you guys are down there. We know about the football and talk about the football. You guys ever write them a letter, or write a letter to us. The, the, what you call it? The, the editorial for leak out pan them and make them know. So these are some of the things that we need for though. Because we had use a platform and a talk. We don't know how many people listening, you know. Well, we have to do we do what we can in the same way. Yeah, but sometimes we have to send them letter. Make them see it's a people concern and a right to them about it. We have to do that because this, to me, is a total this um, injustice for the players. Them who actually play Premier League, you 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 train every day. You know, I mean, you leave work, you go train and all them thing there. God knows where you, what kind of nutrition you get from the team or whatever, or what kind of salary, and you you figure within yourself say. If I'm one of the cream of the crop out of three million people in a Jamaica and say about maybe twenty um maybe what twenty thousand footballers, I might be fortunate enough to be among a twenty five or a twenty one, you know, squad. And yet still no. when it yet when you need, when when the time comes, they might call some overseas player who don't even know nothing about Jamaica. Can't even sing the national anthem. Yeah, but as I said to you, if it's a quick fix and it's that old, we never even that old quick old. fix. That's not a quick yeah, fix. But, no, but, well, but I, I just a short term thing that I look at, and the next thing where we really have to happen is you see for the, the development aspect, of it, the mindset, of the, the mindset of the coaches and the players have to change. If the mindset don't change because the mindset is we just a player, you don't see. The reason why are we playing? What are you, what Flavius, is your long term goal? Let me ask you a question, Flavius. Maybe you might yeah. know. Is it possible for teams to boycott the Premier League? Oh, players, yes. uh, the, 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 the Players Association yeah. for boycott the Premier League. Yeah, but but you have to get uh, yeah, yeah, you know. That won't happen. That will happen in the sense that. They are they are not together like that. Only only the few because, only the few from the national squad. No, I, I have seen where election time and a particular person want to run and they have to get three three nominees from three different three parishes. Mm. And over the years they can't. Yeah, as I said that, what about the new the new draft that they made the other day? Val was, no, Val was supposed to tell us something about it too. That will be, that will wait until the election, the next election. Nothing will happen until the next election. Yeah, but the new draft, is it is it um official? Say so yes, this is what they're going to do for the the coming the upcoming election. Yeah, it's going to be presented at the election, yes. <laughs> Ah, man, so it's, a, it's, a, it's about time we do with we, we um you know we the people Hold take on. a stand. Who worse than saying no? Who worse than what you're done is saying no? Done. Yeah. Do you realize that the kids in school now they're playing prep school and primary school and Manning Cup and the Castor Cup and all these things? But they have no part because when they play all of those and they reach Premier League, everything stops. Oh, yes. That's, so, like, a, you, that's something we know. Like, you know, at school, when we were going to school, our aim is to play for your club and play for Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But that is taken away from them because that's not going to happen because people in the Premier League not play for Jamaica. The Jamaican team is not made up of players who come through the ranks of the Premier League. In fact, in fact, 
the after after the after the English players them declined the offer because of the money thing. I think they got five more they claim. <laughs> and then and then name all the five, you know. And these five are from no recognized club. Mm. So how oh, oh, we have these second and third division clubs mm. giving us players and our Premier League is not even up to up to scratch with that. Exactly. Our players. What that may I say? <clears throat> what could do them never try draw from major league for those who them think them them mother and father are Jamaican. And them so much as Spain. Them so much as Spain. And Germany. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's a, boy, it's a shame. It's a shame I, to know that we have so much talent. My, my thing is that you must have your base in your country. And I don't see how FIFA could even allow that to happen. Exactly. You must have your base in the country. <clears throat> 1998, when we went and we had, we had four overseas players, the entire team, basically the team, was Jamaican who played in the Premier League. Mm. And they brought in four. But after that, they changed the dynamics completely and say, we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry with the Jamaican, Jamaican them. Bring them from foreign. Bring bring everybody from foreign. Mm-hmm. You know. And now they have a diff, they have a new they have a new thing come now. Them say, oh, Premier League people can't play because they haven't played in a year. These English players are playing every week. Mm. That's what they say. Yeah, of course. I know Jeff said that, but somebody said that. Mm. Somebody said that. But now they, now they are looking a second time because now they are saying, in fact, the secretary said in the news last night that they have invested so much money in these British players. Mm. Which they are. And now they are declining to play. Mm. So now their food earliness is, is coming to the fore now. Mm-hmm. I have seen the massive mistake they have made. But, but I said all the while, you, know, you show me one of these English players who has ever come back to Jamaica and give back anything. Come spend a week mm. with a team or with a country or, you know, with some, some youths and, and, and leave anything with them in park and in knowledge of them. I have not, I have not known one, not one. I cannot see the benefit of spending money on them. You have to pay them. You have to pay them travel. You have to pay them visa this. And what are we getting for it? Nothing. Because we're still not winning any game. So it's not that they are bringing any quality to the team. Mm-hmm. They're not. I, I, think the, I think the most disgraceful thing. And somebody... Somebody must do something about it. My personal view, we need to revamp the JFF completely. I've been thinking get rid that of, and saying that. We need to get, get rid of every single person that is there and start with some serious person. Firstly, we need to make the whole JFF thing a corporation. Make it a proper corporation with different corporate structures and paid positions. Paid position that people is there. You might have a ceremonial president if you want, but you need paid people who have skills, who can build the organization like oh, you know, you build like Grace Kennedy or Sagri or whatever. Because if the organization is if the organization stays weak, Jamaica would always stay weak. If mm. we are always looking for donations, looking for money from FIFA, looking money from, from the government, we're not going anywhere. We, we, have to, we have to reach a different level. I mean, if, you, if we're moving into professional football, 
it can't be like that. It can't be a, a subscription thing. It has to be a professional thing. You have a professional corporate JPS, I mean J JFF, and then the clubs become corporate entities. And that will that will build build the clubs, build the JFF, and hence build football in Jamaica. We can't go anywhere we are going on. We can't do that. And we must have a, a principle that we make the Premier League strong so all our players can come from the Premier League. Mm -hmm. If I'm outside of Jamaica, you must have to work hard. You have to, these guys who, who, who we're bringing in have done no work. They have done no work and they don't have a body of work. It's not like D Dwight here yeah, coming back to play for, for Trinidad with him body of work with Manchester United, scoring the most goals and all these things, and come to play for him country. These are guys that can barely kick the ball. And I don't mean no disrespect, but I played football and some of these guys couldn't play on my team. I can tell you that. That is how bad it is. I would just bring them, fet them, give them all kind of money, and we have this suffering footballers in Jamaica that gets nothing, nothing at all. So why are, why do we have all these under 16, under 17, under 23 and all these things? What are they for? Because they can't get a game. You have to ban England. I think, I think, I think it reached a really a disgraceful situation. I think, I think somebody who had the power should shut down JFF. It needs to be closed down re and, and restarted with fresh players, with fresh people, with fresh ideas. That's my honest view. I share, I the, I share, the, same, I, I share the, um, some of the, the same idea with you. Because... I speak, when, I, speak, I speak hours with a vice president, you know, a JFF, you know, and I can tell you. Him don't know much about football. And him don't know much about anything in enhancing or building anything. I can't, I won't call it a name, mm. but I can tell you as a fact. This is what I know as a fact. Because I interact with this person. No disrespect to him, but he was he was he was a president of a parish, a parish. And that parish, that parish is probably the worst parish in football in, in Jamaica. No joke. And he gave that, that up, and the parish is still where, it, where it's always been. Nowhere. Nowhere at all. We need to get rid of, close down the JFF. We can't even close down Kasafa and the rest of the, the, the parish boards them and we start anew. We start to build from bottom up. Right now we are employing a top-down system that does not work, especially since the people at the top don't know much about football. Most of them never play the game or play the game at any level. What they are not can, can we name any of them who have ever played though? I, I doubt if we know any of them ever played. And the JFS. No. All right. I, I, I don't know. Kasafa, yeah, Stuart Stevenson, he played football. And, and you can see the difference when he was in, when he's in charge of Kasafa. You can see the big difference when he is. But I know for a fact, I know Captain Burf, I must look a bit, I never, he never kick a ball in my life. Hmm. Not to get a sweat. I can tell it as a fact. Mm. I used to come watch me play. I never one day said, boy, I want to come kick two balls with me. So I know this as a fact. So we have a long line of people. Before them, before them, you had people who understand football and, and, and I was part of it. But for the most part, they, they never got the support. They never got the support. 
and that is and that is and that is another another thing that you know we don't like support our own and now the people in the people the pe people in charge now fifa has, has changed the thing and given away money over the place so they are fine them can do whatever them doing and and remember remember we spoke at length one time about this whole the jff employing a travel agency or a travel expert as part of the team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This Austria thing... We could bring in well, back Dan, can we, 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 we have Dan on the sideline. We're not here, Dan. Well, now, let, me just, let me just finish this point. This Austria thing has been a chaos to us, you know. Because they announced a training camp before they left. And then the next day, they have to cancel the training camp and off to Washington because the whole, the whole traveling thing changed and they have to go to Washington to get visa and all these things. That how, did they, how didn't they know that before? And if they don't get a travel, a travel expert as part of their team, we can have always have total chaos when we try to travel anywhere. You need to pay somebody who's an expert. This is what they do to end up that, that section so that when we have games and all that, we can do so in comfort without this rush and these people leaving and half of the team have to travel here and quarter there and uh, this uh, and that. All right, so Flavius, get down, get, down, get, get down the forum now. Get down the forum. You're done. Done. Yeah, we're asking of Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we, we don't know why you get sleepy. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> tell, us what, to, tell us. In total, you know? Yeah, tell us what's going on now in England with the with um the, with league, the, COVID. the league, the COVID, yeah, everything. Because I know pretty soon you yeah, guys, the pretty soon right. the, the stadiums will be making noise. So one way. Uh, we the twenty. All right, the, the, the grassroots. Grassroot open up the 29, all grassroot, but the only thing with the grassroot now, when it open up the 29, mm -hmm. a grassroot, you know, it, we know it won't work. The government is saying only one parent can come with a player, mm -hmm. got them still no want the crowd and, and such still. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, you understand, because majority of those grassroot, them playing open, open area, open park. And you know people are turning up. You can't tell people to go if the government say you can't move up and down. Mm -hmm. So all, all the more than was still to the protocol, but indoor, no indoor playing. So like the futsal, no indoors is going to play. Mm -hmm. The only indoor is going to play is disability players. I you know yeah, we have the disability as well who play competition and so mm -hmm. those will be we're playing indoors. Everything is just outdoor. So the 29, everything back to normal from the 29. Mm. So we just hope, and then now, as I said about the, because I'm thinking, thinking about the FA Cup final, and some of the club is going to start accept, but they were saying 50,000, but I don't believe it out of the 50,000. Yeah. It may go to about 20,000. Okay, still but a lot I don't of people. Feel, I don't feel it safe. Because you, there are still a lot of people. You have, um, and, you have um, spikes coming out of Scotland. Right. Yeah, but all right, with the UK now, it's uh, my test, it's my test. So, when to, as I said to you, it was, it was the shortest lesson I do, I did on Friday. Mm -hmm. I went to, I reached in for 12, and by 12.20, I was out of the school, okay. which was good. So, what them do now, you're going, all staff going to school, them don't, but I make a, a teacher there. But, if you're, if you're, a, if you're a, a, a essential worker, your kids go to school doing you know, uh -huh. and your staff work with them. Okay. So what them do now when I when we went in, them give us a what we pack. Yeah what you, you see the pack work? You know the pack work? No. Explain so it. Say all right, so you get a pack. Me, me, me send the video, don't it? No, you never send me a video. You're gonna send no, me uh, you gonna send me a whole heap of, um a whole lot of oh, think uh, you're the, you're the, you know you get six no it's me can't send you that video. You get six you get a pack. You get a pack, you get a booklet to read, but them send me the video so I watch that computer. Mm -hmm. 
So when you do, you you do it yourself, you know. The back of your throat, mm-hmm. one side four times where your palate is, one time, one side four times, one side four times. Then your nose, it, you spin it ten times, but you have a liquid inside as it where you break it like through the wicket the liquid into a into a little cup like a little holder. You close the holder, but you have to wash it and clean off the surface so you put the holder on. So when you do that test now, you there there is a, a tip where you, you take and you put it in the liquid, mm. squeeze it, and then when you squeeze out the, the well, that's a cut, it's a little cut at the head of it. You know, like them, them go tip, ears, the cleaner for the ears. Mm-hmm. So you, when you put it in there now and squeeze out the liquid in there, you take that liquid now and there is a, there is a, a tester. So the tester, is, you only use it once because you get enough tester. Oh, so it's so a when you take the tester now. Yes, yeah, so it's, it, it, yeah. So it's a disposal of the tester. Okay. So when you, you get the tester now, you squeeze down the tester. No, no photocopy everything make you see. Yeah, man. Send it when you get that te- yeah, when you get the tester, I uh, will do text the email I'm send you and you see how them do the test. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. And I'm sure so when, when, when them, I'll love to see it to answer. Mm. Yeah, man, just give, send me an email address and I'm send it to you. So uh, when you do the tester now, you have two, you have two, you have Two, two letters, mm-hmm. a C and a T. When you squeeze it, you have to wait half an hour. So you time it, squeeze it on it, wait for half an hour. Maybe about 20, about 10, 15 minutes, it starts show up liquor. Okay. If the line go across to the C, that means uh, you are good. If the line is at the T and the C, so that's bad news. Okay, okay. You're if, player. if, Right, yeah. go, go, if, three line, if three lines show, that means uh, there is, you, you, did, you didn't do something right. Oh, so you have to take it again. It so right. when you take that now and it's okay, what you do now, there is a, there is a, a, a serial number on the device. You write down that serial number, you have a, you have a number where you call an emergency number. So when you call that emergency number, them ask your name and certain things. Ask you for that serial number, they tell them which school they teach, so they right down on the national database. And they, they, I don't know the linkage go with the school. They call the school and there's a certain code you send to the school. Mm-hmm. So them send it to the school. The school says, well, like I said, Mike, Davan, oh, those people, is clear. So when you go, you know, but you still get a, a, a message on your phone. Okay. So in case them the school wasn't checking, when you're going to school now, they ask you, and you just your phone, and they will see that it was okay. Okay. <laughs> so okay. that's that. Yes. So remember, I send me the. So I send so everything. Them give, come give to, them give it to member of staff, or this is something where you have to purchase. No, no, you get that free. Okay. Okay. Fair not ev- not, but but you know, not every. All right. The different borrow do different things, you know. So okay. the borrow, some borrow will do it, but some borrow will just say, listen, just come in, wear a mask, wear a visor, wear whatever over your nose, but. On the when you are walking through the school and, and speaking to staff, but when you are teaching, you, you take it off. That is primary level. Okay. The secondary level, you have to wear the mask. The kids have to wear the mask, but primary is okay. All right. Well, jump from COVID to football again. Yeah. Your your yeah. your um farmer player, his name is Zaha. Yeah. Zaha no longer will be kneeling down because. His mom taught him never to kneel, never to bow. You remember, you remember we talked this long, what we were saying? And I was saying to you, don't oh. business what? Mm. It's only a phase. It's just a phase for make them believe they are doing something. You remember we were speaking about mm. it? So what Zara, what, what Zara is saying is, is the, is the tower. What, what kind of word him use? I can't remember the words, but him said, if you ever, if you ever do something, do it. You don't have to demonstrate about it. I don't have to show you. Do it if you ever do it. Because this man in Roma, I believe I sent it to you. Roma, Roma. Don't say I say, mm. but it's a Roma. The Celtic job, guess I'm telling you who, who, who the Roma is, 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 is them, them contact. Frank Lampard. <laughs> <laughs> you said for it? No, look into it now. You can imagine that. How many black players, how many black coaches out of a job? And yeah, it's, it's, it's a rumor, you know, we're not said going to come, um, mm. but the biggest rumor at the moment is 
if him they, they, so they, they can't they, this, um the, the the job that they um they had wanted him and John Terry for who got that job? No one knows it. Oh, oh so it's no still one up know it's still up in the air, but some is saying maybe John. Okay. So we don't know how that one is going as yet. Yeah. So you can't see the, you can't see all the dynamics going out. If you're not white, it don't make sense. So um, what Zaha was saying yeah. is I I was speaking it on the program. If the white coaches not coming out and support it. It will never, ever okay. happen. Yes, yeah. It will never. And, and him said the league itself, the league itself have to start supporting it. And put no, in, the league won't support and it. Put in the majors, the pro- and put in majors. No, the league, the, no, the league won't. The league won't support it. You know what? The league won't support it. The majority, one say it, and I won't shame. Because, because what? Majority of the clubs, majority mm. of the clubs, are run by racists. Mm. A majority of the club mm. is not English owners. Okay. Don't feel say you see a man come from the E down in Asia and be that come from Africa. You know, mm. And believe it. Not because if there's a black man won't eh, eh, none of that. None of that. Mm. When you go to you no, know, I won't call the club name. Mm. I won't call the name. It's a specific club who went down there. And my remarks was, don't tell me you're not even at this level. There wasn't one. One black coaches coach at any level. The only black coach I'm really have the same. I don't want to call him him because you know so. That was the only person. I won't say I'm even black. I would not say black. But at no level did you a black coach from year five to the first team yeah. there wasn't one place. all right done we're going to end right this yeah all right end right this with you today and um we're going to talk half of the year because we have a, a different time so we can you know bring you in much we were saying oh, more, it's going to be late in your in your time zone right I will start a little bit late now. So it's going to be late in your time oh. zone, yeah. But we thank you still for taking time out and keeping us abreast as to what is happening in UK and in London when it comes to football and the Jamaica football things. I well, hope that next week we can, you know, talk some more on it. Flavius <laughs> really, really have a lot to say. And you know, next week we want we're going we're going to spend some time on it. So we're going to go in our homework. So everybody go back go research, including myself. Make we do some research, some digging, and find out that when we attack, we can call some names, because people need to know what is going on. Because somebody sent me a text from England this morning and say, Frank, only for utilize on the platform and talk about these things because it's shameful. Because him there England. No, but Franco. And it's shameful. Franco, uh-huh. we up, we up here, you know. Mm. We up here is patriotic, patriotic mm-hmm. than people who JFF, you know. Because mm. we up here would have love for the development, and we we'll go to a system where we could have, where we can help. Mm. It's not about knowing this and who's your friend. No. It's not about us now. It's about developing the football. So you can't say, yes, we sit and we see that grow. That's the only thing we're talking about. Yeah, It's yeah. not about World Cup, World Cup. Build a platform, World Cup come natural at that time. You true. qualify every, every, every four years. True, true, like that. true, true, true. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, we come to the end of another, you know, Real Stuff podcast. Very interesting morning. Who can call it, Chef? Sinclair, that um, we call it that medicine bra. <laughs> Consume, Consume. Eh? You know, it was good. And then our conversation this morning on football, especially Jamaica football. So, Flavius, I give you 30 seconds. 30 well, seconds. Football is, is, is now. 
a business, a major business, is serious money. And we in Jamaica have to recognize that, like all other sports, and we have to treat it as such. So we have to we have to train people to put in those positions. You can't just nominate a man and vote for him and him don't have the requisite skills to make it work. I think that's our problem in Jamaica. The JFF has to become a business because football is a business. And to get the most out of it, we have to set up ourselves properly and function like a normal business where we can earn money and look after the players and look after the plans that we have and all these things. And we must, must at all times put Jamaica and its people, especially people on the ground first. We must. Okay, Dan. Yeah, Frank, over back to you. Yeah, the only thing we can say regarding the football is in Jamaica. If you don't have a if you don't have a, a, a long term plan, well, everyone has to just sit down, put them different, put them different aside, and know that it's not about them. It's not about the federation. It's about the country as a whole. And who's growing up and look on that telly and see their favorite player playing? It's all about that. It's all about the children and their development. It's not about JFF and it's not about the members. Who is this? And it's not about just going to the World Cup. It's about building, building those kids to have different skills and to upskill them in different aspects. It's not just about football. It's about the coach education as well. So when I'm talking about the football, it's the holistic thing of each child who loves not just football, but sports within Jamaica. But the football aspect, it's a business. I, 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 I slave, I say, it's a business now, and we are lagging way behind with so many talent in the country. And the only way to do that is, is just a development, grassroots, so what I'm, yeah. I mentioned this, I mentioned this already, so that for the 2026 World Cup, Jamaica should be focusing on that. And the only way I see them going yeah. forward to qualify is use the same players them who are playing Manning Cup and the Costa Cup and put them in a camp after all of that. All school, all Manning is over. That's the best cream of the crap, right? There, sir. Those guys should be in the year between the age of 17, 18, 19. And remember, six years, that, you know, what a preparation. By that time, they should know them one another, know who, how Tom run and how Harry love him ball and whatever. And I guarantee you, if the real people them who are run JFF can do that along with the Minister of Sports, then we can have our own players in a Premier League, you know, qualifying for Jamaica, not players from overseas. And Franco, uh, we just say, the thing with Jamaica need, and this is to all clubs in the country, what is Jamaica philosophy? If you don't have a philosophy, at club level, at international level, it's just a, no sense in it. You have to can look at a player and say, yes, that player is from Jamaica without him even speaking. Mm-hmm. That, that, that player yeah. plays for Arnett Yard. That player plays for Boystone. So the philosophy, that is Boystone philosophy, that is Arnett philosophy, this is Jamaica philosophy. This is how we are going to play no matter what, if we change it, then we come to as a, as a country and we say, listen, this is not working. Let's go back to the drawing board. But as long as you're just doing things out of tin air, you have to have a, a philosophy. Make I can stay in the UK, who's in America, and read it. And the Jamaica FA, well, this is Jamaica philosophy. This is how them play. This is Jamaica. We already have the philosophy with Usain Bowl, 100, 200, 80. We know that is our philosophy. 100 meter that's on the four by four that's our strength true, true. So something I've put down in the football as well yeah yeah man so with that live love every moment of your life and be grateful for each day you must cherish your friends and your family bless others keep the faith and never lose hope and remember prayer changes things 
regardless of what religion you belong to. Continue to pray. Until tomorrow when we do it all over again, we have our special guest in the Portugal corner, Antonia Valier, and she will be our poetry corner guest. So, as always, uh, he's left out uh, with some words. Uh, our father in the Garifuna language, uh, Afina and Pamo, to take us out. You lead us to fly. You belong to the way I was. I do go alive. Lead a moa, lead a song to la. Lead a moa, lead a song to la. Forget what I was trying to say I no longer do what I was gonna do But you're no good for me That's why men who will send me a fig of flea Me I be take away me Unfortunately, this is it. Till next time. Bless. Unfortunately, this is it. Till next time. Bless.